Let's crack the code of zero conditional sentences. Hello there, English enthusiasts. Today, we're going to explore a vital piece of the English grammar puzzle, the zero conditional sentences. Get ready to dive deep into the grammar ocean and come out as a confident English speaker. Remember, zero conditional sentences are those special types of sentences we use to express facts or situations that are always true. Zero conditional sentences are used when the result of the condition is always true, like a fact. They often express general truths or scientific facts. In other words, the outcome is always the same if the condition happens. Here's an example to help illustrate. If you heat ice, it melts. In this example, the result of heating ice, it melts, is always true. It's a scientific fact. The structure of these sentences is straightforward. We usually construct them with two clauses, a condition clause, the if clause, and a result clause. Both of these clauses are in the simple present tense. Here's the structure. If plus present simple, present simple. Let's look at an example. If you mix blue and yellow, you get green. If you mix blue and yellow, is the condition clause, and you get green, is the result clause. Both are in the present simple tense. We primarily use zero conditional sentences to express general truths or habits, scientific facts, or to give instructions. Example of general truth, habit. If it's Sunday, I go to the park. This means it's my habit to go to the park every Sunday. Example of scientific fact. If you drop an object, it falls. Gravity will always cause an object to fall if you drop it. Example of instructions. If it rings, answer the phone. This is a simple instruction on what to do when the phone rings. In all these examples, the result will always happen if the condition is met. All right, everyone, it's a wrap. We've just unlocked the secret of using zero conditional sentences in English. I hope you found this lesson helpful and interesting. Now, it's your turn to put this knowledge to use and start creating your own zero conditional sentences. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep learning, keep growing, and until next time, happy English learning.